The National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a tornado warning for the counties of Lanchester, Cass, Sarpy, Douglas, Saunders, and Washington until 5.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.30 p.m. a tornado was confirmed just to the north of Lincoln, Nebraska, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Catastrophic damage is expected in the path of this tornado. This tornado has an estimated width of around 5 miles and wind speeds exceeding 450 miles per hour. These are just general estimates, as any wind measuring equipment immediately broke when exposed to the force of the tornado winds, even miles away from the funnel itself. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Seek shelter underground immediately. No above ground structure is expected to survive this storm. If you do not have a basement or storm shelter in your house, try to get to a public shelter if possible. If you feel the storm is already too close to leave the area, go outside and lay in a ditch as a last resort. Cover your head with your hands and pray for the best. If you choose to stay in your house, stay away from all windows and go to the most interior room in your house. Reports from towns affected by this tornado have indicated that homes and buildings were completely ripped from their foundations. There actually seems to be little debris left over as the tornado pulled everything off the ground and the remains of cars, buildings, and people's houses are still in the funnel. There has been observations of this tornado having the capability of throwing debris out of it at extremely high speeds and set objects landing far away from the funnel. Even if you are not in the direct path of this storm, it is still possible towns within 25 miles of this tornado could be hit by falling debris. If you are not in the direct path of this storm, but you are within 25 miles of the storm, it is advised you shelter in place. Repeating, the National Weather Service in Omaha has issued a tornado warning for the counties of Lanchester, Cass, Sarpy, Douglas, Saunders, and Washington until 5.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. This message is being transmitted at the request of civil authorities and the National Weather Service. Damage in eastern Nebraska is being described as apocalyptic. The tornado began to fall apart as it was approaching the city of Omaha, Nebraska, and dissipated just as it crossed the Nebraska-Iowa border. Dozens of small towns are gone, with no traces of any people or their property left. The death toll is likely in the tens of thousands. While a vast majority of estimated fatalities are from the tornado itself, there have been dozens of reports from cities outside of the damage path reporting injuries and deaths due to flying debris. Debris has been estimated to have been thrown horizontally from the tornado at speeds above 300 miles per hour, and this range of damage may extend for around 35 miles. Observers that managed to survive claimed the tornado seemed to be stretching much higher into the atmosphere than normal meaning that debris could have been sucked into the vortex and shot out for dozens of miles and could still be falling from the sky at this moment. Keep on the lookout for debris falling from the sky. Report any instances of falling debris to a local authority and the National Weather Service. Stay tuned to local news media and the National Weather Service for updates on this tragic event. Civil authorities in your area have issued a civil danger warning for central and eastern Nebraska, western and central Iowa, extreme northeastern Kansas, northwestern Missouri, and southeastern South Dakota until further notice. At around 5.45 p.m., a massive tornado dissipated going through the city of Lincoln, Nebraska. 
Initially, it was reported that debris was being launched out of the tornado at speeds upwards of 300 miles per hour, and this debris was landing in towns as far as 30 miles away from the storm. But new reports have come in that falling debris has been reported as far as Des Moines, Iowa. Anyone within a 150-mile radius of Lincoln, Nebraska should shelter in place immediately. Debris can range in size anywhere from small pieces of houses, such as wood planks, to debris as big as entire cars, large chunks of metal, or even small houses. There have been reports of a few storm shelters ending up as far as 100 miles from the storm, some landing on top of people's houses. Towns within 50 miles of the storm area should expect a large amount of debris to fall down within the next hour, and for the debris to be bigger in size than those further away from the storm. If you are on the road, pull off to the side and get to shelter, as to not cause any car crashes in the event of falling debris hits the road. If you are outside, it is advised that you get inside a sturdy structure and take cover. If you are already inside, get to the lowest floor of the building as you can and put as much distance between you and the sky as possible. If you are receiving this message, you are at risk of being crushed by falling debris. This message will repeat every 20 minutes until the situation is over or until new information becomes available. Stay tuned to local news media and the National Weather Service for more information on this event.